I think at one point in my career, I was addicted to buying jewelry, yeah. It was like a drug because literally you buy one thing and then it just, you look at it for like a couple weeks and then it gets small, you know? It'd be big when you first bought it, then it'll get small and then you gotta get bigger shit. Yo, what's up, GQ? It's Lil Yachty, you're on the rocks. First piece I have ever got, my manager and my CEO, they bought me a baby boat. It was like this, but it was 3D, it was constructed. So then John, my homie John, he redid it super detailed. I bought it with this Cuban link. I paid 60,000. It was the first chain I paid for my own money. I was excited, this shit, cause it's my first big chain. I had little small chains. And then from there I kind of went crazy. This is self-made, me, you know what I'm saying? King of the Teens. This was about uh, $50,000. It's a self-portrait. You gotta do a split of the portrait so you can see how identical this looks. It has this grill in the mouth. It has this watch on the hand. And then my cardio braces that I, I never take off, those are on the arm. And then this bracelet is on the other hand with a tennis bracelet that I had, I lost it. This ring on the finger, I lost that ring too, but that ring's like this ring, except for all white diamonds. And I had this red Saint Laurent bandana on. If you can see, it's like this red with the rubies. It's super dope. This is Bolt Simpson. You know, Gucci Mane, he did a Bart Simpson piece a long time ago and I, I recreated it, you know what I'm saying? Pay homage to Gucci. Bart was always dope. Boat got like a little boat on the bag, some 1017 birds at the top. Yeah, this was 100 grand. And then I got this chain, I have never seen it before. So you always see diamond chains, but these are different gemstones. This was like 20 grand, this was kind of cheap, like 25, maybe 30 grand, maybe. That was dumb cheap. Then I have Yachty Jesus, Yachty Christ. You got the gold teeth, red hair with the diamond beads. One of my favorite sayings on the back. They hate on me, but they hated Jesus. From the late, great soldier boy. <laughs> I got this chain with this diamond rosary. This chain was so fucking expensive. It was like 50 grand. <laughs> Cause there's so many little diamonds. And then this was like 25, I think I paid like 70 something for these two together. I got a QC pendant. QC is the label quality control, that's our record label, you know what I'm saying? Originally, you know, everyone had just the white one. And then Quavo came back and made the shit start spinning and it fucked me over. So I'm back to the drawing board. I'm trying to see if I can make my shit fly or something. I got this bracelet. This is the only bracelet I didn't lose that says Boat Boy on it. It's dope, right? I don't even wear it. It says Boat Boy. I got this, my solid foundation piece, which is my management. If you see Migos, you see me, see Trippy Red, you know what I'm saying? We all got, we all wear this. On them big old boogers you see right there, them carrots and, and whatnot. The chain alone, this was a 50, I paid 55 grand just for this little chain. Whoa, this shit is, this shit broke off again, you know what I'm saying? Yep, I gotta get this chain fixed again. Gotta get that chain fixed, I'm glad I just raised that up. I gotta get the end of it fixed. So we got all my diamond chains, not all of them. You, know, you see a lot of people wearing these diamond chains, man, they be wearing fake diamond chains, man. Diamond chains are not cheap. And I'm glad I got this segment to talk about jewelry for a second, because a lot of you rappers, we see your jewelry and it's a little shysty. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple of them. It's just the stuff that actually never sees the light of day. Like when you go to your toy collection, you got those toys that you never play with that just sit in the box. But we got them. You know, but we got them. You know, just in case somebody was curious, if we got them, they're got. This chain, Icebox, I paid 140 grand for it. And I love Icebox. I feel like I was a little too much. You know what I'm saying? I was a little too much, but I did. I paid 140 grand for it. 70 pointers, I think. And I knew I paid much, because then I got this 90 pointer for 90. And anything I'm saying, you can go quote me. I don't have a reason to lie, you feel me? I, anything you want to quote, you can go ask the jeweler, they'll let you know, I don't have a reason to lie. Then my boy John hooked me up with these two for 15, 15 grand. It's like, shit, what the fuck is that? It's 15, I'm take them, skirt, let me get them. Mine. I think I paid like 20 for this one, maybe 30, a little longer. One of my first diamond chains. That's when I realized how expensive diamond chains were, you know what I'm saying? 
And then I got this one I paid, I know for a fact I paid 50 grand for this one because it's longer, this is the longest one I have. And the stones are pretty big, they're like 50 pointers. And then I paid 55 grand for this one because it got those super big stones in the middle. Really it was a female's chain and they didn't fit my neck. I was like, add more lengths to it, I want it. 55 grand, bought it, because I can. This custom lock chain I got made, it's a real lock. I got the, the link made. I saw Skepta wearing a chain like this, but it wasn't iced out, it was just regular and it was way smaller. It's like, I want that, but bigger and iced out. So we made it, and then got this iced out bolt key attached to my Maybach key. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to flex or nothing, just uh, it's how you take it off, you know? It's crazy because I've worn the chain out and forgot the key, and then you stuck with it. The chain is so heavy, it's like a kilo and a half. We got this big ass Cuban. This Cuban's almost two kilos, almost. I cannot wear this chain for over 10 minutes. It's so fucking heavy. Gotta get some diamonds put back in there. This was 150. I wasn't even supposed to buy this, man. That's how they always get me. They always come in with shit, you know what I'm saying? He just had it, it was the biggest one I ever seen. So I was like, oh shit. No one has one this big, so I went and bought one this big. I have this chain, it's like a puffer Cuban. It's super dope, no one has this chain either. Like a lot of pre rappers have this bracelet. The bracelet's like 40 grand, it's like 40 grand from Icebox. But the chain, you know what I'm saying? I got the chain for about 75, 80 grand. It's like 77 sentimental, so I'm gonna throw it close to 80. You know how I do. I'm gonna throw it close to 80. This is both from Icebox, and I told them if I buy this chain, I better not see it on no more rappers. Don't make it no more, you know what I'm saying? It's the closest to the DMX chain, because I really want DMX's chain. It's like a Cuban, but it's a little different. I forgot the name of it. It's like a special type of Cuban. It's super expensive. Because of course I would ice it out. His was just like solid, but it would be like super duper 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 expensive. Like this, this specific type of Cuban it was, so I just got these two. This is like a gang chain. I call it a gang chain. It's a selling team piece. Everybody in my gang got out my engineers. My manager, CEO, security, anybody I fuck with, if I really fuck with you, you get a gang chain, a 17 chain, you know what I'm saying? And which gets me to my next, the Big Daddy Kane. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the solitaire in the middle. This is still a gang chain, it's just a gang gang chain, you know what I'm saying? This is a new gang chain. This is the first one, it's a little prototype. It's Papa. Pop out the sailor. I got a bunch of these coming for the, all the gang. And then I got the Big Daddy Kane one for myself coming, of course. You travel with all this stuff on it? Sometimes. We lock it up. I love watches. I got this Patek Philippe, rose gold, you know what I'm saying? I have swapped the face. I got the blue face, you know what I'm saying? Blue face doesn't come on the rose gold Patek, it comes elsewhere so i had it put in there first rolex i ever bought little little, little presidential joint i got this jubilee two-tone except for mine's got the big face this watch is very popular right now it's kind of cheap it's like 20 grand but i got the biggest bezel you know what i'm saying i got these big ass diamonds in the face big old boogers make you say hi to I bought this watch. This is a Rolex, it's a Sky Dweller um, with the baguettes around the side. Me and my brother Offset both got this watch. That blue face in there, you know what I'm saying? Blue face, make it say your grace, you know what I'm saying? You did, you get where I'm going. I fell all the way around. First Rolex I ever got was a gift. It was this Yacht Master, you know what I'm saying? Me being Lil Yachty, it was brand new. Nice and clean, solid gold. This watch is heavy as shit. This watch is like 40 grand. And then I have a I have a watch sitting on my nightstand, a Rolex. I want to say presidential. A baguettes all around it. Just in case you wonder why these two are empty, because I ain't no sucker. You feel me? This AP is special edition AP. This is from the QE Second Cup, 2006. And if you can get can you get the inside of that? Your little brother was just being born. This AP was about 80. 80 something, like 85, 86 grand. Look at that, look at that face. The time set on this motherfucker is not the right time. We're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that right now because that's irrelevant at the moment. <laughs> I've been wearing grills since like ninth grade. I used to go to the flea market and get them. You know, so I used to get silver grills and like eight karat grills, they used to turn. I always had grills though, man. I've always had grills. Nothing even wrong with my teeth, really. I just like grills. I got this yellow, canary yellow diamond set. 
I got the colorful set. And then I lost my white set with my rings and my watch. I've ran through like seven or eight sets. Maybe like 7,000 every time. Speaking of that, man, I lost eight rings. Maybe like 10 or 12 rings. And I'm missing an AP, uh, a skeleton AP with baguettes on it. The watch was $150,000. And I had a ring that was $89,000. It was five carats. And then a whole bunch of other rings, like 20 grand and other little things that I don't know where the fuck they are. You ever write any music about your jewelry and stuff? Yeah, that's pretty much all I talk about. <laughs> and I got a song called Ice, fully about jewelry. On one night, taking pictures with all my eyes. That was before I even had jewelry. I had no jewelry back then. I was dead broke, sleeping on a couch. Never seen a real diamond in my life. <laughs> I got some diamond beads made. I didn't post it though. I got a video of it though. It's gonna take like a couple hundred. Cause I have six beads on one braid and then every braid. So we're just waiting for the right time to break it out. But diamond hair beads, I, I did I, I did have that made. It's gonna be super dope. I can't wait to wear them. I just got the right time. That was an exclusive right there. Man, this is nowhere near all my jewelry, man. All of my homies got on jewelry right now, you know what I'm saying? I only got one neck. Just come to the house. We got the part two, you guys come through, man. I got a crazy video game collection, crazy toy collection, got the car collection. Just come through and see what the fuck I spend my money on.